I'm getting I'm doing really well with this debate died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered what about the wounds all over the rest of her body they didn't have anything to do with it the Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds oh yeah good point if they were old I guess they don't really matter okay then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. <laughs> I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. Jesus. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to figure okay. out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? I have not. Um... Uh, fuck it. I got it. Oh wow, I was right. Nukuro was hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed him. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Nukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds kind of weird. Because it is weird. Hey, how dare you backtalk, Master? You have no right. I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for doubting it because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Yeah, it was in the locker Kyoko had a key for in her room. 